the neuroscience behind porn addiction. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist and sex addiction recovery coach. In this video, let's break down how porn impacted your brain the first and second time that you watched it and how the seeds of addiction were planted then and they were watered over time by continual, consistent, frequent, and growing in intensity porn habit. So let's dig in. How did porn addiction start? Now, for most men, and unfortunately, more and more young women now, what happens is you find pornography when you are young. And we know the average age of exposure now is between 8 and 11 years old. Completely terrifying. Am I right? Young kids are becoming addicted to pornography more and more at staggering rates, and it breaks my heart, which is why I created the nonprofit organization PornBrainPrevention.org. So if you're inspired, please donate because this world could use all the help it can get. Okay, I'm sorry. I digress. Let's get back to the neural mechanisms. So what happened is when you were young and you found pornography, it flooded your system with dopamine. Dopamine is the pleasure-seeking neurochemical. So what it does is when it floods your system, first of all, it gives you that rush, that feeling in your brain that you had the first time you saw it, that feeling that you never had before, that is the dopamine flooding your system. And remember, porn is a super normal stimulus, more than you could get anywhere in the real world. Thus, the rush was bigger than you can get from playing kickball, from hanging out with your friends, from school. So you're young and your brain gets this deluge. And in that first exposure, it's more than your brain has ever had. So what your brain has to do is calibrate. Now, let me explain one concept. When your system is working well, and we'll just say well for now for sake of argument, if your system is working well, it's called homeostasis. So your system's got all the neurochemicals flowing, electrical energies being used, all the systems are working as they should to maintain this baseline, homeostasis, just feeling okay. When you got this rush of dopamine, that homeostasis was rocked. It kind of rocked your world there and you felt it, but what it also did internally is your system had to recalibrate itself because of that deluge of dopamine. And so it recalibrated itself to go, hmm, that's more than I've ever experienced of that. I better calibrate for that. So then on the second exposure, your brain already readjusted itself because of that exposure. And when you're exposed again, your brain actually needs more dopamine than the first time that you were exposed because of that recalibration, neo-homeostasis, new homeostasis, new baseline when it comes to dopamine from watching sex on the screen. It's very environmental or activity specific. So basically, when you watch porn the second time, your brain needs more dopamine. And guess what? Seeds of addiction are planted. Your brain is beginning to be hooked on that feeling, and now it needs even more dopamine to get there. And that's how the seeds of addiction are planted. Now, pornography addiction is different than alcohol and drugs because most times children aren't exposed to alcohol and drugs until later in young adulthood or in um, you know later teenage years when when kids are experimenting not at eight or nine when it shows up on their ipad so that's the real danger of porn addiction is that you're exposed to it at this early age your brain's not ready to handle this dopamine deluge it recalibrates itself and now it wants more of it and it needs more and more and more so seeds of addiction are planted so then every time you go back to porn and masturbate what you're doing is you are watering those seeds. And the more consistently and frequently you water the seeds, the more that addiction is going to grow. Also, the more that it escalates into higher levels of intensity, and especially if you're moving into genres that are not congruent with what you want in your life and are giving you this level of anxiety and you don't feel good about watching them, but they're really hitting the nervous system in terms of increasing anxiety, 
and arousal, you are giving your brain more intensity. And what you're doing inadvertently is tolerance is being built to more, you know, vanilla or plain types of pornography. And your brain is going to always need these higher levels of intensity to feel the same arousal. More intensity, funkier genres equals even more dopamine than before. So please remember that because it means you're flooding your brain out. Now, when you flood your brain out with that dopamine, it's not harmless. Unfortunately, it's damaging your brain because the supernormal stimulus is not normal. It's too much. It's not good for your brain. So you're knocking out functioning in the frontal lobe and you're desensitizing the reward center in the middle of the brain. What that does is it makes it so that you can't think, it gives you more anxiety, it gives you depression, it creates this dopamine deficit in your life, so there's lack of motivation, you're more stressed out about your life, you might perceive people as attacking you, and you become very defensive, all because of the changes in the neurochemicals, the new neo-homeostasis. Your brain has been changed because of that early porn exposure. So let's just say for sake of argument, you never watched porn at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You've never experienced it. Your brain will grow and develop in a different way in terms of how it uses electrical energy and in terms of the neurotransmitter cascades that happen. So when you continue to watch porn, Every single time you do it, you're changing the development of your brain and for the worse, obviously, and you are making it so that you're damaging your brain. It's just like using a drug over and over from a young age. So that is the neuro mechanisms, the neuroscience behind how porn addiction starts. So then it's watered over time. There's tolerance that is built. There are withdrawal symptoms when you try to quit for most people, unless they implement lots of the right strategies with the right support, which is what I'm here for. There can be a massive ripple effect of how it plays out in your mental, physical, and relationship life. So the consequences are real, and it's because of the neurochemical changes. Okay, I hope that helps you understand how that addiction started. One more thing and we'll wrap up is that then what happens is when you go into the screen and you're consuming pornography, not only did you train your brain to hit the easy button to get the dopamine deluge, at the same time, you're training your brain to see people as objects. So it creates objectification of people, women and men both. So we know that that's showing up in people's lives as a major increase in cheating and infidelity to 300%, that's what I mean by major and significant. We know that divorce rates and breakup rates are over two times, and that's you know from the people who are in the research studies and are admitting that porn use is in the mix. So we know that this can have devastating effects in terms of objectification and then sex addiction. So infidelity is an escalation type of behavior. There's all these other sexual acting out behaviors that people escalate to after they consume porn. So there's sexting, webcam sex, prostitutes, acting out with other people, because every time, just about every time, if porn's in the mix, what happens is the screen is no longer high enough of a dopamine hit for your brain. So your brain, the hijacker in your brain, says to you, I got a brilliant idea. Let's not use the screen anymore. Let's go be with Susie Q, who's in the world, and let's get her to do the things that are in the screen if your partner doesn't want to do those things. We also know that the sex acts from pornography will show up in the bedroom with you. And you can look for a video on this in a few minutes in this playlist that it shows up in the bedroom and it creates this discontent between partners. Because if you have a healthy partner, healthy partners don't want to do what you see in porn. Okay. Let's stick to the neuroscience. We'll wrap it up there. Remember, if you're looking for help on this journey, jump on over to my website, drtrishlee.com. If you want to donate to the cause to help teenagers, pornbrainprevention.org. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.